Hey everyone, Luke here from 3D Tutor. Today we're going to be creating a glass material for our objects within Unreal Engine 5. So for that, let's get into the content drawer. Let's right click within the contents tab and create ourselves a material for glass. Let's just call it as a glass, like so. Let's double click on it. So before we're creating anything within it, we'll firstly need to make some changes for the material itself. For that, let's go ahead and click on the material. Let's make sure this is selected. And we'll want to use the details tab to change the blending mode to start off because right away we're not getting any of the opacity. But by changing this to translucent, we're going to be enabling the opacity for our material. We'll also need to change the way our translucency is so the lighting mode is volumetric non-directional we'll want to change this to surface translucency volume which will give us back the metallic and the roughness as well as other channels like so so now we're able to create a normal glass material using these channels so we need a tint color for our glass, so let's start with the base color. Let's right click on our graph, search for free vector. So constant free vector, like so, will give you a constant for the color. Let's go ahead and right away connect to the base color. Then we can double click on it. And for the base glass, I'd say we can use a greenish blue tint like so. Let's make sure we have some brightness increased and let's say decrease the saturation around this type of a color. The tint is honestly a custom. It depends on what you're trying to achieve, any type of tint that you like. Then for the metallic, we'll want to create a constant value. So for that, we'll need to hold a number one on our keyboard and left mouse button, which will give us a simple float value that we can change. And let's go ahead and connect it to the metallic. Let's change the value for this to one. Since otherwise, if we don't do this, our glass is going to have a plasticky look and we don't want this to happen. So that's the reason we're using a value of one for this, even though it's not technically a metal then as for the roughness we're also going to change a value for it so let's hold let's hold one on our keyboard click on the graph and attach it change the value to one for the opacity we're going to hold one attach the load value and change it to a value of 0.5 for now then for the refraction, we'll need to use a certain values for it. If we hold a letter L on our keyboard and left mouse button, attach for the alpha, we're going to be attaching a Fresnel. Right click on the graph, search for Fresnel. Let's get this value within alpha like so. And the first value for the LERP will be a default one. Default value of 1. Changes to 1. So. Then for the B value, it'll be a value of index of refraction. Let's firstly create a float value. Holding 1. Click on a graph and attaching it like so. According to Unreal Engine's documentation, the refraction value for the glass is going to be 1.52 this will give us the most physically accurate glass within unreal engine so let us go ahead and use this value in here so 1.52 as it said now we're going to be attaching it to refraction like so to get this sort of result we could already use this material as is but the material we just made is something called master material and we can make an instance of it instead. So we can change the parameters within the engine just to make our lives a little bit easier. 
So for that, we'll firstly convert some of the values to parameters. So base color, we can right click, convert it to parameter, change the name of it to tint color. And later, the roughness value, we can right click on it, convert to parameter, change the name of it to roughness. For opacity, we'll do the same, right click, convert to parameter, change it to opacity. And we can even change the parameter for this as well, just in case we need to use it. So convert to parameter. We can call this as index of refraction, so I O R, like that. And we can click Ctrl and S to save the file. Now that we're finished, we can go ahead and close our graph for the material. Go back into our content drawer. Find ourselves the material we just made. Right click on it and create material instance for it. Like so. We can double click on it. We can tick on the boxes and make the changes that we like. For example, if the roughness value is a little bit too much, we can lower the value to, let's say, a value of 0.8. And now we can apply this material onto our object. So going back onto our glass instance material, simply dragging it onto the objects like so. And there you go. Now we have ourselves a glass material ready to be used. One thing to consider though is that if you're using a glass plane, for example, as a normal mesh, it might not have the other side visible. So if you want to fix that for objects that use planes, for example, like windows, what you might want to do is go back onto your master material and enable yourself a two-sided material. If you were to click on that, then save the master material. You're going to get yourself a glass with both sides rendered. However, what you notice is that other three-dimensional objects also render the insides of their volumes as well. And you might want to make use out of that in certain cases. But personally, I try to avoid doing that myself, as you're basically rendering the object twice and unnecessarily slowing down the performance. If you have a look at it closely, you'll notice that the object is a little bit darker so if you are thinking about using it like so, just remember to increase the opacity so the glass wouldn't be as dark. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing 3D tutorials. We also do our content as well, such as online courses, 3D assets, and PBR textures. All links can be found in the description down below. Thanks for watching.